Hi, this is Jeff from Airstream Nerds. Our propane detector finally bit the dust. When I get back, I'm going to show you what we're putting in in its place. This Atwood is what we currently have, and it is dead. And this is what I've bought to replace it with. Now, the reason why I didn't bought this is because I could not find one of these Atwoods for the life of me that wasn't marked up double, triple. And I'm not really sure whether they've gone out of business or whether they just don't make this model anymore. But this has been advertised as a direct replacement. So let's open this thing up and see what we got. So this is the R-Safe Universal Replacement um, Propane Gas RV Alarm. And there's your model number, RVLP-2B. Now I, I got the model in black, which I'm assuming what the B is in the 2B. And let's see what comes with this. Now, they claim that this cover plate and everything will cover the original holes. So let's see, we've got some small little wood screws. We have the um, RP p detector oh it's two pieces here here's the, the detector and this is the plate as you can see the wires are just wrapped up around the back now what i'm going to do this time around is i'm going to put a a um, crimp on these so i can easily disconnect it if i need to Let's see what else we have. Oh, a different, a different plate. So they've got a two different plates to go with it. One longer, one shorter. Um, I'll put the dimensions of these down below. We'll start with this one. The fatter one, I should say, is five and three quarters. You know, five and three quarters tall, and wide is four and a half dimensions are right there and then we have this one the narrow one is seven and a quarter and width is i don't know what is it three and three eighths here are the specifications now keep attention to this right here the five years lifetime um these sensors in these alarms smoke alarms in your house as well they do have a lifetime they have a life expectancy where these sensors will last and take them seriously um you're you'll you know it could save your life so the current the ones in our current unit is a it's a 2013 or 2015 it is now 2022 it is time it has been seven years so it died but we are going to replace it because it has been seven years. So regardless of whether the years has died, pay attention to the life expectancy. And it was it is written on a sticker right there. Plus, you ought to know when you bought your RV, if you bought it new. If not, Airstream does put a date of installation in so you know when to replace these. They're not, again, it's just two wires. Super easy to replace. But I'm going to go over that when I get back. Okay, so I've taken the other one out. Just keep in mind that there is a wire clip right on the edge, basically right here behind here. It's just a a, um, a little slot that looks like this, and you just stick your finger in there and push it back to plastic, and then drop your wire in there, and it, it moves back, kind of like a um, like a carabiner type clip thing, but it's it's plastic. So anyway, so I've got the the red and the black cut. Now, on the, this one here, the red was on the black with the white stripe, and ground was the white wire here. But there's an easy way to check. So if you take your, your meter, so you can see right there that we have, um, that it's showing. So we do know on this meter that the red is the positive. So if you put the red on the negative, You just stick it in there like so and hold it. And you take the black 
And if you have it backwards like we do here, you'll see it's a negative 12. So that basically tells you that um, I had it backwards. So if you do it right, if you do the black on the ground, so you can, any, any DC system, you can check polarity by that, by using that method. Just check the wires. If you put your, if you have the positive on the positive, it's hard doing this. If you have the positive on the positive, you'll end up with positive results. If you have it backwards, it's going to show you negative voltage. So super easy to, to determine which is which. Now on this particular item, it's the same as this one. Red is the, red is the positive, black is the ground. So we'll be doing black to white and red to that. So just have to strip the wires. And like I said before, I am not going to um, hard splice them together. So I'd like the ability to test, disconnect, so on and so forth. So I am going to just use wire nuts on these. So I've got a couple of wire nuts, different sizes. Let me strip the ground out here. So I'm going to do the ground first. That way I can't short anything out. If I get the ground in here and put the wire nut on it. Now, if this thing touches this, I'm not going to have to worry about popping a fuse or anything. So let's, we got the positive to the positive. Now this is not like your home electric. So as long as you're not going to short anything out against anything else, you should be okay. Now there's no, there's no relationship between the colors here. I'm not using the colors for any particular polarity or anything like that. Just the two that I picked up. So they're on, I might, I might end up putting a little wrap of tape on there. You can see that the, the light is onto this. Now the way, the way the plates work. So it looks like that the, the little short squatty one is going to be the one I'm going to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one screw in the top. I'm going to put my level on there and make sure it's level. Although I'm not 100% sure if the camper is level right now, we're sitting at home. I'm going to put my level on this edge first to see how far level off it is. And I'll try to mimic that with this. I just want to make sure it looks nice on there. Let me go ahead and back it up and I'll be right back. I have marked and I am drilling. I'm drilling the holes for the speakers. I mean, for the speakers, for the, for the plate. Now I also taped the wires just as a precaution to keep them from spinning off. And I've put the wire back into the little clip back there I was telling you about. So the plate is nice and tight on there. Don't over tighten them, it is wood that will strip out. It comes with these four screws. So it does not say. Anything about which direction. Whether there's an up or a down or whatever. So you use these screws in the plastic of the plate. <laughs> and 
and I am done. So it does say silence and test. There's silence, there's test. We are all good. As they said, the plate works. The universal plate, I used the short and squatty one. I guess this one, I don't think that one would have worked, but I think that one looks better anyway. Um, pretty easy to change out. Should be, it definitely should be something that any of us who own a camper or an R stream or pop up or a, a class A, any of these things that have one of these, this should be a skill that you should be able to do. Um, not to mention the same skill can be used upteen million times and umpteen million things that could go wrong on the road that you need to fix and take a look at yourself. Thanks for watching. Once again, this is Jeff and Jenny, and we're the Airstream Nerds. Please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, put any comments below, and we'll see you on the next trip.